I hate that I have to tell you this today. I, I really do. I take no pleasure in it. But at this point, it is the undeniable reality that the Oval Office and President Trump, the executive branch of the United States government, have been completely subjugated and taken over by Vladimir Putin and by Russia. And this became unendingly, just glaringly clear at yesterday's summit in Helsinki, Finland, and especially by the absolutely atrocious and embarrassing and shameful press conference that was given right after the private meeting between Trump and Putin. And I struggled today in planning the segment because it's hard to know where do you even start with this? And it was, you know, I watched the, the press conference. It was one of the most disgusting and vile performances by an American president in, in American history, I would argue. And the question is no longer if Trump is a subordinate of Putin. It's more a question of why has he become a subordinate of Putin? To what extent is he a captive of the Russians and how do we fix it? That's really the it, it, thinking pragmatically. That's the number one question. And I admit that I didn't expect the meeting was going to go well, but the historic low that was this press conference given by Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump is, uh, as, as I said, of historic proportions. And during the press conference, there was a direct question about Russian interference in the 2016 election, which at this point is an undeniable reality. We know that Donald Trump in his answer asked specifically about, do you blame Putin? Do you, do you blame the guy or don't you? Trump blamed everyone but the people who actually did the interfering. He blamed Democrats, of course, Hillary Clinton. Why not? The FBI, Robert Mueller, a witch hunt investigation, a Pakistani dude, but not Vladimir Putin and Russia. And it is one of the most disgusting acts that I can remember by an American president, certainly during my lifetime, during which I've been paying attention to politics. But it's actually even worse than I've described it to you up until this point. Donald Trump went further and said that Putin had a great idea, which was to have Russian officials work with Robert Mueller on the investigation into Russian meddling. Russian uh, actors are some of the perpetrators. And Putin says, let me have the perpetrators work with the investigator. And Trump called it, quote, an incredible offer from Vladimir Putin. Uh, let's go to one of these clips. And a lot of the stuff I just mentioned is in it. I can't even keep track. Thank you. Uh, question for each president. President Trump, yes. you, you first. Um, just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every U.S. intelligence agency has concluded that Russia did. What, who, my first question for you, sir, is who do you believe? My second question is, would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you <laughs> warn him to never do it again? So let me just say that we have two thoughts. You have groups that are wondering why the FBI never took the server. Why haven't they taken the server? <laughs> why was the FBI told to leave the office of the Democratic National Committee? I've been wondering that. I've been asking that for months and months, and I've been tweeting it out and calling it out on social media. And nobody knows where what you're is about. the server? I want to know where is the server and what is the server saying? With that being said, all I can do is ask the question. My People came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others. They said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be, but I really do want to <laughs> see the server. Uh, but I have, uh, I have confidence in both parties. I, I really believe that this will probably go on for a while, but I don't think it can go on without finding out what happened to the server. What happened to the servers of the Pakistani gentleman that worked on the DNC? Where are those servers? They're missing. Where are they? What happened to Hillary Clinton's emails? 33,000 emails, gone, just gone. I think in Russia they wouldn't be gone so easily. I think it's a disgrace that we can't get Hillary Clinton's 33,000 emails. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people. Yeah, it shows. But, uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. And what he did is an incredible offer. He offered to have the people working on the case 
come and work with their investigators with right. respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible <laughs> offer. Okay? So the question is, do, do you blame Putin? Do you, do you hold him accountable? Everybody knows it was Russia. Do you blame him? He says the FBI did bad things. The DNC did bad things. Servers are a problem. Putin said it wasn't him. I have confidence in both Putin and our intelligence. This is going to go on for a while. Servers are a problem. A Pakistani guy is a problem. <laughs> Hillary's emails are a problem. He praises Russia, slams his own intelligence community. He refers to Putin as strong and powerful and says Putin has made an incredible offer. It's over. It, it's it's this might as well be the Constitution of the United States, Pat. It's over. Well, one was. How do you put this into words? Yeah, I don't know if you really can. And I love that part about, you know, Putin's going to be in charge of dealing with Robert Mueller and trying to get to the bottom of all of this. It's kind of like regulatory capture in a way, like yeah. what Trump is doing with all his executive agencies. Like, let's put the climate change denier in charge of the Department of Energy. Yeah. Let's put the coal baron in charge of, you know, the EPA. Let's like, put this the, is the last person you want in charge put of. Put the mom of an alleged terrorist in charge of the investigation into the terrorists. Why not? Right. I'm sure she'll have incredibly valuable information to add about her son. This is actually in line with what Trump wanted all, all, all along. He wanted to be in control of the Mueller investigation. Putting Russia in on the Mueller investigation is sort of the next best thing. And the president believes Vladimir Putin over our own intelligence agencies. This is the perfect response if you are Putin, right? If you're Putin and you're standing there and they go to the other guy and they say, do you hold this man accountable? And Trump says it was servers, a Pakistani, Hillary's emails, and this man was just so strong and powerful. And then he says he has no reason to think that it would be Russia, despite all of our intelligence agencies saying it was Russia, despite all of the other evidence that we have. He just says, well, uh, uh, Putin says it wasn't them. It just wasn't them. And if everybody who has stated an opinion on this, the only person telling the truth, if you believe Donald Trump, is Vladimir Putin, the person accused of the actual wrongdoing. So our country has been taken over. We are no longer in control. We are no longer sovereign. And the major question to be answered is why. And we have a poll on our YouTube channel asking this right now. Was Trump bribed? Was Trump compromised by Russia because they have really damaging things on him? We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Is Trump just this open to suggestion? Like, is, is he this manipulable? Uh, or is he doing this because he's being blackmailed? I don't know the answer, but the White House is being subjugated by a foreign power. We suspected it for a while, but the press conference yesterday has confirmed it beyond any doubt. And I'm increasingly thinking that Putin and the Russians may indeed have career ending dirt on Donald Trump. And I mean, not pee pee tapes. I mean, something even worse that I, I don't even know what it would be, because this is the total subjugation of a supposed big, tough American president by Vladimir Putin. It's got to be something, right? Because they receive no criticism ever. You know, the European Union, they're apparently terrible the now. biggest foe to the United States, Canada France, ripping us Germany. off on trade deals. They're terrible. NATO, maybe we should pull out. But Putin, no, he denies election meddling strongly. Not a single criticism, not a single criticism. And this is an emergency. This is th this is an emergency. Red alert. This is a man who has to be removed from office because we have a president siding with a, ho a, a hostile foreign power in direct opposition to our own intelligence community. It's traitorous behavior. When we imagined the worst case scenario, this is it and it's a reality and we have to contend with it now. And I don't know what we do next. One of today's David Pakman show sponsors is World CryptoCon. It's a three day event at the Aria Resort in Las Vegas from October 31st to November 2nd. This year's theme of World CryptoCon is achieving mass adoption of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, specifically through small, medium and enterprise business innovation. You can join over 5000 attendees. Check out the 150 plus exhibitions stretched out over 200,000 square feet of meeting space. Enjoy a full schedule of speakers, including many of the biggest names in the blockchain world. And the David Pakman Show audience can get a $300 discount on tickets by using promo code Pacman at worldcryptocon.com. I've put a link in the description under the video. Once again, that is promo code P-A-K-M-A-N at worldcryptocon.com.